Hello guys, welcome to the next video tutorial on Java programming for beginners. In the last few videos, we have been seeing how we can use if statement which are condition based statement in Java. Now in this video, we will see other kind of uh, conditional statement that are called switch statement in Java. So whenever you have to make multiple, you know, uh, condition checking, then you can use switch statement. You can uh, use switch statement uh, in place of if else statement also, but generally we use a switch statement where you have multiple expression to check. So let's take an example. For example, I have a data type called store, a score which is integer and whose value is 90. So let's consider this is the score of some student. So in uh, Java, let's first see how we can, uh, you know, write switch statement. It's uh, simple. You just need to write a keyword called switch and then comes the round bracket, which uh, evaluates the expression. And then in curly braces, you write some condition. So here comes your expression and this expression can be a uh, following so for example this expression can be a byte or can be a short value or integer or character value right so our value is integer so we can write or evaluate this score value and on the basis of this score value we can define some cases inside our switch condition for example case uh, 90 and then comes this colon and then you can execute your uh, code so we want to print for example system dot out dot print line and in here we will print for example very good this is uh, on the basis of score so if the student scores 90 we will uh, print the message very good and after this message will print we just want to break out of this uh, switch statement so just write break not this one but this one and this semicolon so in this way, you can uh, define multiple conditions in uh, side your switch statement. Once again, I copied and pasted same statement, but I can define some other condition. For example, if it's uh, 60 or if it's 40, then I will say the score is good. And if it's 40, the score is okay and so based on the score we are evaluating the score inside this switch statement and if the score is 90 we will print this one and we will break out of this switch statement so what this break does is it breaks out of the switch statement we will see uh, when we uh, run the example and if this condition or this condition where k score is 90 or 60 or 40 all these conditions are not met then we will define a default condition which will catch all the other options other than the defined conditions and this is done by the keyword default okay and in this default we can define that for example this condition is not defined or the grade is not defined for example we can write the grades are not defined something like this okay and then we can break out of the loop not the loop but the statement break 
Okay, so let's run the program and let's see what will be the output. I will just compile the program and run it. And it prints very good because we have defined integer whose value is 90 and this uh, variable we are evaluating with our switch statement and then your uh, program or switch statement evaluates whether the case so case becomes if the score is 90 then it will execute this code whatever you write after this colon and before this bef break uh, keyword all the code whatever you write inside this will be executed okay and whenever this break is called it goes directly out of uh, this switch statement so this condition or this case is not checked and this case is not checked in this case is also not checked so your switch statement waits for the condition to be true for example we just uh, write 60 which is this case and run the program it prints good right or we define some uh, weird condition for example 33 which is not defined in either of uh, these cases then the message is the grades are not defined so your um, this code will be implemented so this is like an if condition in uh, switch statement not else not if but the else condition in um, if statement right so whenever these conditions are not met then the default condition is called right now there are uh, other ways of writing switch statement or there are some properties of switch statement for example you can define case without the break statement like this so if you define case where uh, score is equal to 100 and you don't uh, give here break uh, keyword see let's see what happens and in this case we will define score is equal to 100 and we will run the program and it says very good and why this is happening is whenever you define something or some case without a break it goes to the evaluate the case it sees that score is equal to 100 which is okay and immediately it goes to the next case where case is equal to or score is equal to 90 and it prints the next case statement which is this one and then immediately it sees that break is called and then it breaks out of the switch statement so whenever you want to evaluate multiple condition and you want to print or you want to execute a same code you can define multiple conditions like this without a break keyword for example 95 and you define 95 here also then it will print very good okay so it's evaluating three condition at a time and if the score is 100 or 95 or 90 this statement will be true okay in the same way you can define different case here also for example if score is 80 for example or 60 and let's define score is equal to 80 then it will print good okay so you can check multiple conditions without you know adding the switch or uh, without adding the break keyword to any case so in this way you can evaluate conditions using switch statement i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for